you pretty much just section off your hair like you do at nighttime. And then um, we do have a detangle that we suggested, which is a tangle taming leave-in conditioner from Beautiful Textures. I pretty much just take a section, spray it with water again. Take your tangled teaser and brush from tip to root. Then if you still need to do any detangling, you can take the leave-in conditioner Put it on there. This thing will really soften this hair. And your tangle teeth at that point should just slide right there. Just slide right there. And that's a great way to detangle it, especially before you wash the hair. So it's really good to do that um, before you wash it, just so it's easier to wash. When washing for kinks, um, you definitely want to do everything in twists. So right now, I sectioned off my hair in twists, and you can kind of see I wet this section in the shower just to show you, um, just to show you how to wash up, just for the sake of the video. So wet this section. What you're gonna do, as well it's in twists, um, I use Paul Mitchell's Special Tea Tree Shampoo. This is the generic version for Sally's, but it's just as good. A little bit of that and then wash the hair distribute the shampoo by putting it in in a praying praying hands motion just rubbing it in and then you're gonna rinse it out so you'll do this to your whole head first. You'll actually distribute shampoo in each twist and then rinse out each twist. So I'm gonna rinse this out and I'll be right back. So after you've rinsed out the twist, it should still just look like a twist with no shampoo this time. That's when I apply conditioner. Today I'm gonna to use Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. This works really well in the hair and so does Cresce Fidelo's um, hair treatment. So, once again, distribute it. Distribute it if you want. You can untwist it at that point. Distribute a little bit more conditioner through it. Like this. At no point do you want to go like this to the roots of the hair. You really just want to focus on getting the hair clean through the shaft. And then when it comes to your scalp, um, I'll show you how to wash your scalp afterwards. So you apply the conditioner like so. Then twist it back up. And then you can repeat that throughout your whole head. So I'm gonna go rinse out the conditioner and then I'm gonna show you what you should put in your hair or what to do to your hair after you wash out the conditioner and then how to rinse your scalp. Now, what I've done now, I just rinsed out that twist that had the conditioner in, the, in and as you can see, it's still in a twist. It's wet right now, but um, the next thing I'll do is show you how I wash this, my scalp with this weave in. So what I did was I took the shampoo and diluted it with water. So it's half part shampoo, half part water. And all I do when it comes to getting in my scalp is going in between my tracks and I'll squeeze in the shampoo and water mixture onto my scalp. Squeeze in enough of it so that you can feel it dripping down your scalp. And then after I do that, I just massage the shampoo in my scalp. After that, what I usually do is just go underneath the shower and literally just rinse my scalp. I don't go in and you know squeeze the hair anymore. I just rinse the scalp. And after that, um, the hair should still be in twists. And with conditioner for the scalp, all I really do is use like a leave-in conditioner and oil mixture and then just squeeze it in the scalp and leave it in. I don't really do a deep conditioning on the scalp um, as much. So after you've rinsed your entire head and you should have your hair still twisted, just wet this time, all you do is unravel the twist 
and it should be really soft. And that will twist from the conditioner. At that point, I just put a little bit of the penetrating oil on it. Brush that in. And then I let it dry. So I'll do, I would do this all over. And then when you're done, as your hair dries, it'll start to shrink up. But as it's drying, that's when you can repeat the putting in the moisturizing cream of olive and olive and then putting in the penetrating oil to seal it. So this is what it's looked like after I've taken out my twist, put the penetrating oil in, brushed it through with the tangle teaser. It's really fluffy and light, fluffy and lightweight. And it's still wet, so it needs to dry a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't do too much to it, like I said, but this pretty much is the best way to wash and maintain it.